Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. Keaton Mitchell was just activated to the Baltimore Ravens active roster after being on the IR with a shoulder injury. So in today's video, we are going to be diving into Keaton Mitchell in order to determine can he step up for this Baltimore backfield. Keaton Mitchell was an undrafted free agent in the 2023 NFL Draft out of East Carolina, and he absolutely produced in his three seasons at East Carolina, especially in 2021 and 2022. In 2021, he was an all-conference first-team player with 1,132 rushing yards, nine touchdowns on 6.5 yards per carry, and he upped the ante in 2022, again being all-first-team conference, 1,452 rushing yards in this season 14 touchdowns on an incredible 7.2 yards per carry He also looked really nice for the Ravens, not only during the summer, but in preseason as well, averaging six yards per carry this preseason. So on a surface level, adding to the backfield that is Gus Edwards and Justice Hill, it seems as though Keaton Mitchell has a clear role as that explosive option out of the backfield. Breaking down Keaton Mitchell as an NFL prospect, he's 5'8 at 180 pounds, so obviously that is a very small frame, but first and foremost, as you guys can already tell, watching this video. He has incredible top end speed and not only does he have incredible top end speed but he has very nice acceleration to go along with it as he hits his top end speed very quickly with that 4.37 40 yard dash which is very rare out of the running back position and that puts him with Devon A-Chain as in my opinion the two fastest running backs in the entire National Football League. In somewhere where his speed really shows up not only at the college level but in the preseason as well, and I do expect this to project into the NFL, is that his top end speed makes it so difficult on not only linebackers and linemen, but cornerbacks and safeties to have that tackle in the open field, and he really does a good job at eliminating pursuit angles. Something you'll also notice right away about Keaton Mitchell, he has really nice subtle cuts in the backfield in order to buy enough time to consistently create explosive plays. It is not a coincidence to why Keaton Mitchell was consistently breaking these long runs in college as he led all FBS last season with 54 runs over 10 yards. He also has a nice jump cut at the first and second level of the defense, consistently making linebackers miss. With Keaton Mitchell, considering his frame and considering his biggest strength being speed, it seems as though defenders have that mindset of, if I can only get my hands on him, then he will go down immediately. But Keaton Mitchell actually has sneaky good wiggle, which allowed him to consistently break sloppy, lazy arm tackles at the college level. He has pretty solid vision, and something I really like that Keaton Mitchell consistently did at East Carolina is he keeps it extremely close to blockers, which allows him to not get touched until the second level. It is a big negative tendency of a lot of very fast running backs to outrun their blocking, which consistently gets them tackled at the second level of the defense, but Keaton Mitchell, again, keeping close to those blockers does a good job at avoiding this and not overrunning the play. Now, as a pass catcher, he certainly has a lot of potential, but he's not a natural receiver out there. He certainly is a running back, of course, and there were some drops on his tape that he needs to clean up in order to be a consistent, viable option in the pass catching game. Not only this, but he really does need to work on his blocking. So I do think Baltimore early on into Keaton Mitchell's career will shy away from using him as a pass catcher as they really will emphasize protection over elite top end speed with that running back because they don't want Lamar Jackson to get injured. Gus Edwards and Justice Hill are actually pretty solid. They're doing a solid job this season, but the Ravens really do need to hit on higher upside at the running back position. They, of course, were trying to do this with J.K. Dobbins, but it just is is not working out with J.K. Dobbins at this point in his career as he's consistently been injured. So Keaton Mitchell breaking that Baltimore Raven running back mold of being that power back is really a good thing for Keaton Mitchell as I do think he has a clear path to playing time with that top end speed.
speed and when they want to hit on home run plays. Now, one thing that makes me very nervous about Keaton Mitchell is the fit with the Baltimore Ravens. It really is not a good fit for a fast running back. The Baltimore Ravens love those power backs. Obviously, Gus Edwards and Justice Hill. Not only these guys, but think of guys like Latavius Murray and Mark Ingram that have thrived in the system. Keaton Mitchell really is far from these guys from a skill set and physical perspective. Not only this, but from a schematic perspective, the Baltimore Ravens love running the read option. And in the read option, primarily, you have the running back getting the inside zone option, and you have Lamar Jackson getting the outside zone option. And Keaton Mitchell at the NFL level most likely will not be a good inside zone runner. So Baltimore is going to have to stop being so stubborn and start running more outside zone with their running backs if Keaton Mitchell wants to succeed at the NFL level with the Ravens. To answer the question of the video, can Keaton Mitchell step up for the Baltimore Ravens? I do think he'll have some explosive plays in there, but I do think it will be hard for him to get playing time over Gus Edwards and Justice Hill, considering they do like that power back over the speed back overall. If they stop being so stubborn and start running some more outside zone, Keaton Mitchell absolutely will pop. Is he Devon A-Chain? No. If you want my thoughts on Devon A-Chain and what makes him such a good prospect, check out my video I made a few months ago about him. But overall, Keaton Mitchell is about 85 to 90% of what Devon A-Chain has brought to the Dolphins, which is extremely exciting. Now it really is on Baltimore to use him correctly. Thanks for watching today's episode of Mike Talk Sports. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Keaton Mitchell? And do you agree with my take that Baltimore needs to stop being so stubborn with their running backs and start running some more outside zone.